Here is something you don't see every day. Take a look at this video. Two men caught on camera robbing a landscaping crew at gunpoint in Cary. Tonight, those suspects are still on the run, and Cary police are hoping someone can help them identify them. WRL's Brett Neese is live in the neighborhood where this happened. Brett, what are residents saying tonight? Understandably, Gerald, they are shaken up tonight, but most of their concern is for those victims, the landscaping crew who were working in what they thought was a safe neighborhood. This is the security camera that captured this video just two days ago. Around two in the afternoon, a silver Honda Accord pulls past the workers and parks along the street. Moments later, two men jump out, one holding a gun in both hands, shouting at the workers to back up. Back up, back up. Police tell me the pair got away with a concrete saw and a backpack blower. The encounter was quick, but has had a lasting impact on this community. Neighbors tell me they're shocked this happened in broad daylight. Just the whole idea that somebody would be so aggressive to do something like that is really sad. The security video posted on Facebook has over 150,000 views, but still no one has been able to identify the two men in the video. I showed it to Chuck Reddy, who lives directly across the street and was home when this happened. What's your reaction to that? It's, I mean, it's the stupidest robbery, I guess. Like. I mean, why would you want to do something like that to begin with? A majority of the homes on this street and many throughout the Ridgefield Farms neighborhood have security doorbell cameras. Even so, neighbors say this armed robbery will be on their minds anytime they're working outside around the house. It's not something you would expect, so yeah, you definitely got to be more aware. I reached out to that crew that you saw working in that video. They tell me that they didn't really want to do an interview, but they said that this was such an incredibly frightening encounter. Tonight, Gerald, they're grateful that nobody was hurt. Just when you thought you'd seen everything. Brett Neese live in Cary. Thank you, Brett.